Firstly, I want to thanks Dr. Carthoe for invite me to give online course game-based learning to prevent COVID-19 to all my friend here. For information, anyone can get this article by searching on Google type Peter Chu Lancet and just press the article. You can get it in preprint with the Lancet. Anyone also can get this article at SSRN Psychology Research Network or SSRN Coronavirus. After discuss with Minister of Health Malaysia, Datuk Sri Dr. Aham Baba, this game, version 3, maybe will recommend by Datuk Sri. For information Datuk Sri Dr. Aham Baba at middle March already start recommend the important of wearing of mask external prevention, and hydration, drink warm water, internal prevention. Game concept. Players need to use the following effective prevention strategies to prevent the infection of COVID-19 and find out all the asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic carriers of COVID-19 of each level in order to win that level. If the player does not use the M key, mandatory mask, and is unable to detect the carrier of the virus quickly, carriers of the virus will spread the virus to infect others and if many infected cannot be detected, then they will spread the virus extensively and cause many infections in the second COVID-19 wave. This game will show the situation especially at L4. The game will be lag if many are infected and many viruses at each level indicate that the country is experiencing problems where the national health body is having difficulty dealing with many COVID-19 patients in the country. COVID-19 prevention methods can be divided into two categories, namely external prevention and internal prevention. External prevention is prevention before the COVID-19 virus enters our body such as frequent hand washing and wear face masks when leaving the house. Internal prevention is prevention after the COVID-19 virus enters our body as our immune system improves. Important Prevention Methods There are two versions of the game. There are four levels that players need to complete to complete this game. Bahasa Malaysia and Chinese versions Video description of this game Game based learning to prevent infection from COVID-19 The analysis aims to determine the real reason why a country faces the widespread spread of COVID-19 in the second wave of COVID-19 and create a new game to let everyone know the real situation by playing the game so as to understand the actual method of prevention Reduce COVID-19 infections in the country. Everyone wears a mask in a public place and tests everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19 patients can reduce COVID-19 infection. Therefore, the new game is to let everyone know the importance of these two prevention methods. In the game, if you use the M key, everyone wears a mask in a public place strategy, you can easily win the game. In addition, you need to find all the silent carriers before you can win the game and enter the next level. The purpose is to let everyone know that in order to prevent the subsequent COVID-19 wave from any serious infection, the country must focus on finding all silent carriers like China. The game will show how the second COVID-19 wave happened in different countries, with L1 representing China and South Korea, L2 and L3 representing Taiwan, Hong Kong. L4 representing the United States, United Kingdom, Italy and other countries. Wrong prevention strategies are responsible for the higher rate of COVID-19 infection in the second wave of COVID-19 in some countries, where asymptomatic carriers, silent carriers, are not tested and isolated, resulting in accumulation many silent carriers. These silent carriers caused a high degree of infection in these countries in the second wave of COVID-19. The WHO says that before any country lifts the lockdowns, the disease transmission must be controlled. For countries with non-mandatory masks, the disease transmission is difficult to control because it is difficult to identify patient zero. Undetected patients zero who will continue to infect others elsewhere. A study shows that other mitigation measures, such as social distancing implemented in the United States, are insufficient by themselves in protecting the public. In any case, if your country requires everyone to wear masks and social distancing strategies in public places, it will be A+. In response, the World Health Organization wants everyone to stay at home and play video games. In any case, it is best to create a new game and let gamers know how to prevent COVID-19 infection. In addition to wearing masks, the application of other methods is also essential to prevent COVID-19.
The game will be updated, and the game has no copyright. If someone obtains the game, it can be shared with others. You can get the game through this link. Example of playing this game. Friends, first of all, I would like to thank the Fifth International Conference on Management, Engineering, Science, Social Science and Humanities, Icon Mesh Apostrophe 20, for providing me with this platform, allowing me to share my views on the effective prevention strategies to reduce spread of COVID-19. An overview. Wearing a mask and testing everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19 patients are effective prevention strategies to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Wrong prevention strategies are responsible for the higher rate of COVID-19 infection in the second wave of COVID-19 in some countries, where asymptomatic carriers, silent carriers, are not tested and isolated, resulting in accumulation many silent carriers. These silent carriers caused a high degree of infection in these countries in the second wave of COVID-19. Western countries, such as the United States, the United Kingdom and Italy, have not tested everyone who has been exposed to COVID-19 patients. They just test those who have symptoms of COVID-19. Therefore, we call these countries symptom prevention countries. But China and South Korea tested all people who had contact with COVID-19 patients, even if they were not sick, asymptomatic. Therefore, we call these countries virus prevention countries. Experts now believe that China and South Korea's virus prevention strategy is more efficient at curbing the spread of the virus. Research teams think that mild or no symptoms might be passing the virus to 60% of all infections. A new study pins down the source of the rapid spread of the coronavirus in China previously, people with little or no symptoms. A new U.S. researcher in Yijiang, et al. 2020, has found that wearing a face mask can significantly decrease a person's chance of becoming infected with the COVID-19 virus, and even when used alone is more effective at preventing the spread of the virus than other protective methods. Other mitigation measures, such as social distancing implemented in the United States, are insufficient by themselves in protecting the public. Current issue and challenge After Wuhan reported a cluster just six new cases on the weekend of May 9, after 35 days without reporting any new infections in the city, 
We see that the China city of Wuhan has tested its entire population of 11 million people for COVID-19. The mass testing campaign, 11 million people, ended up reporting 206 cases of active COVID-19 infections, all of which were classified as asymptomatic. The question is, why did the city test everyone if so few people six new cases, are positive? Because testing 11 million people requires a lot of money and resources. The answer is that China's goal is to identify all asymptomatic patients, silent carriers, in China. In this way, China will not cause any serious infection to the subsequent COVID-19 wave. China's top respiratory disease expert Zhong Nanchan said right now, the fatality rate is only 0.9 or 1 percent, he said. I suppose we don't have too many asymptomatic patients. If we did, they would be transmitting the virus to other people and pushing the number of confirmed cases. Zhuang Nanshan also said asymptomatic infection is highly contagious. Even where isolation is implemented, the rho value may reach 3 or even 3.5, which means that one person can infect 3 to 3.5 people. This number is very high. The study of clinical characteristics of 24 asymptomatic infections with COVID-19 screened among close contacts in Nanjing, China examines the history of close relationships of diagnosed patients, detects 24 non-symptomatic patients, and reveals that COVID-19 patients do not have symptoms that could potentially provoke others. The importance of this study is to know that patients with COVID-19 are not symptomatic, highly contagious, the duration of the infection may be three to four weeks, and that their infected patients may have severe disease. Current Trends A study, face masks considerably reduce COVID-19 cases in Germany, a synthetic control method approach, the city of Jena has seen no new infections for eight days since making masks mandatory. The news will raise hopes masks could be effective in containing the virus and add to calls for them to be made mandatory elsewhere. Since then, Germans face fines of up to $5,000 as wearing a face mask becomes mandatory. The latest report from the University of Maryland also mentioned that wearing masks in public may help slow the process of the COVID-19 pandemic. Research reports published in Natural Medicine, the result identified seasonal human coronaviruses, influenza viruses, and rhinoviruses in the exhaled breath and coughs of children and adults with acute respiratory illness. Surgical face masks significantly reduce detection of influenza virus RNA in respiratory droplets and coronavirus RNA in aerosols, with a marginally significant reduction in coronavirus RNA in respiratory droplets. A research also shows widespread mask wearing could prevent COVID-19 second waves. The research, a modeling framework to assess the likely effectiveness of face masks in combination with lockdown in managing the COVID-19 pandemic. Led by scientists at the Britain's Cambridge and Greenwich universities, suggests lockdowns alone will not stop the resurgence of the new SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, but that even homemade masks can dramatically reduce transmission rates if enough people wear them in public. Lead author, Dr. Richard Studd, part of a team that usually models the spread of crop diseases at Cambridge's Department of Plant Sciences, said, our analyses support the immediate and universal adoption of face masks by the public. Study also shows 100% face mask use could crush second, third COVID-19 wave. A research face masks against COVID-19, an evidence review also recommend that public officials and governments strongly encourage the use of widespread face masks in public, including the use of appropriate regulation. The World Health Organization updates COVID-19 advice to encourage wearing masks in public. The World Health Organization technical lead expert on COVID-19, Maria van Kerkhove, told Reuters in an interview. We are advising governments to encourage that the general public wear a mask. And we specify a fabric mask, that is, a non-medical mask, we have new research findings, she added. We have evidence now that if this is done properly it can provide a barrier, for potentially infectious droplets. World Health Organization set six conditions for ending a coronavirus lockdown. Disease transmission is under control which is a top priority before any country lifts the lockdowns. 
non-mandatory masks difficult to prevent the indirect transmission of the COVID-19 virus. Therefore, disease transmission is difficult to control. A study data indicated that indirect transmission of the causative virus occurred, perhaps resulting from virus contamination of common objects, virus aerosolization in a confined space, or spread from asymptomatic infected persons. Future scope in response, the World Health Organization wants everyone to stay at home and play video games. In addition, one of the conditions for the World Health Organization to end the coronavirus lockdown is for the community to be fully educated, engaged, and empowered to live under a new normal. Therefore, it is important to create a new game and well-educated everyone know how to prevent COVID-19 infection. The new game must educate everyone about the importance of two effective prevention strategies, wearing a mask and testing everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19 patients. The new game also must educate everyone that other methods are also essential to prevent COVID-19. Prevention strategies can be divided into two types, external prevention and internal prevention. External prevention such as wearing masks, avoiding crowded places and garbage, petting animals, coughing, sneezing, and remember to wash your hands with soapy water. If it is not necessary, do not go to the hospital, if necessary, do not take the elderly and children. Internal prevention such as enhance the body's immune system through food or sunlight. Lack of sunlight can lead to reduced levels of vitamin D and melatonin, both of which require sunlight to produce. Lack of sunlight can damage our immune system, which in turn reduces our ability to resist viruses. Reducing stress, adequate sleep, and regular exercise can also strengthen the body's immune system. Additional information on March 24 My findings, wearing a mask and testing everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19 patients can reduce the spread of COVID-19 in any country, has been sent to the Crisis Preparedness and Response Center, CPRC, of the Malaysian Ministry of Health. On March 25, Karen, the coordinator of the Crisis Preparedness and Response Center, CPRC, of the Ministry of Health Malaysia responded that the Ministry of Health Malaysia very much appreciate my findings. The Ministry of Health Malaysia is currently actively testing people who have close contacts with people who meet the rest of the PUI, person under investigation, criteria. My findings let the Ministry of Health of Malaysia know that all eligible people must be tested if they meet the rest of the PUI criteria, regardless of whether they have symptoms or not, and to isolate asymptomatic carriers of COVID-19 for prevent them from infecting others. This is to prevent the widespread spread of COVID-19 in Malaysia, as in some countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom and Italy. Asymptomatic COVID-19 carriers to spread COVID-19 across the country, causing many infections in the country, death, and huge economic losses. After March 25th, Thailand must wear masks on all trains. Dr. Tai Silp Vizanuyothan, spokesman for the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration Thailand, said that May 4th was the first day when Thailand did not have a new case of local infection because the 18 cases found on that day came from quarantine facilities. Health Director General Ministry of Health Malaysia, Datuk Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah said that Malaysia's first report of zero local transmission was on July 1st, when an imported case was recorded. On June 6, the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia, Wikipedia, mentioned that Director General Ministry of Health Malaysia, Noor Hisham encouraged members of the public to wear face masks following advice from the World Health Organization that it helped to reduce infections. Therefore, if the Ministry of Health of Malaysia also adopts a mandatory mask strategy on March 25, Malaysia maybe can recover faster like Thailand. In any case, from August 1, 2020, Malaysians must wear masks in public places, and those who do not wear masks in public places will be fined up to 1,000 Malaysian ringgit. Thanks for listening.